Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Super World Box on PC. This has been updated again to 0.5.155. I believe there's another version. I'm like one version behind this. There's a there is a, a 0.156, but I thought I'd stick with this one because the, the latest update just fixes some issues with the uh, map edges. So this has got a few new features. So as you can see. There's apparently boats on the loading screen. Not, I was, I was all excited to see boats, but yeah, boats aren't in the main game yet. It's just literally on the loading screen. There's a new invan inventory system for units. Items can be junk, normal, rare, and even legendary. Items are produced in cities by blacksmiths. So that's a new uh, building type. Uh, there's kings, leaders, and warriors have a priority now at taking items. We've uh, also added a unit that kills other better equipped units can take their items. So that must be like a sort of um, AI feature of the game. 76 items and icons for them. There's a new power, Spite and Friendship. So Spite is a ability where you can cast it on a nation and they will then fall out with someone and uh, wage war with them. And Friendship is the opposite where it makes a nation calm down. Unfortunately, you can't actually choose who you want to use the, the power on. So you can't specifically have certain kingdoms fight each other. Um, so I'm, I'm still looking into that one. So we might have a little look into that during this uh, this session. Uh, there's new city buildings. There's a well, temple, four statues, and a barracks. There's uh, shadows for building units. Uh, as it says, they're on mobile. It's set off uh, by default. Tents. Units will build tents first when they settle a new city. Um, there's a blackout been added to the background when the UE window is opened. Uh, there's a resource, metals, made from ores by smiths. So that's, that's quite a cool, cool little uh, interesting trait. So there's actually a use for the uh, metals on the map now. There's also leather and bones, which are collected from animals. Gems, which are a rare resource from mines. Now, I believe um, dwarves uh, down here. So there's a trait for dwarves miner. Now, with this, they have a better chance of finding gems. Um, there's not really that many other new th that new things um to actually show you on that bit let me just scroll down a little bit some localization going gone on there's a uh, greek danish and croatian languages so that looks like that's been implemented and uh simplified chinese and traditional chinese language now wow that that, <laughs> that must have been a nightmare to implement there is also a new metalsmith job, apparently, which that's linked to the one above, I think, which is the uh, metal uh, con conversion. And uh, yeah, various, various bug fixes. So yeah, lots of nice bug fixes. So I've gone ahead and loaded this world map. Now, this is by someone from the Discord called uh, Ignis Hers. So this is the map that... Uh, he or she have created and if we go ahead over here we can actually bring this up and we can see it is a world map i think it's i think they said it was like a loosely uh done map which is it seems to be it seems to be good enough though look it's got the uh united kingdom over there we've got ireland germany france spain portugal over there country over there called uh america i think that's over there at the moment we're set to the only thing that is turned on is trees are going to grow and grass is going to grow we're going to turn all these on we want old age to come on we want kingdom expansion we want everyone needs food to live and I want diplomacy. So relationship between different kingdoms, they can declare wars and treaties. Now, it's going to be quite interesting with the different nations on here because I don't know what actual... Are they all humans or do we have a mixture? Because they're looking like all humans so far. Yeah, we're all humans. There's no orcs or elves or dwarves. Let's do some dwarves over here in this mountainous area. Hello. And I'm going to spawn in a few little resources for these as well. So they can have not that many. Let's do some re rare resources. So you can have some stone. You can have a little bit of gold and some silver. And hopefully you're going to settle in that area. And I think we'll add some elves all the way over here. Now, let's talk about some of the, the new stuff. So... 
a lot of the stuff is like under the hood. It's not that visible to see, but you can see some stuff like the the spite and the friendship. So friendship is this one. It's just an area effect spell. And then you got spite here. Now, I think as this is so new and these nations are all going to be pretty much all let's be friends at the moment, because I don't think at the, at the start they've really got any bad diplomacy, diplomacy or anything. So if we click on a different nation, uh, let's have a little look. So France and Switzerland. Let's see. How do we see how, how who's friendly with who? It just says select a kingdom on the map. Right, so I'm choosing France. I think it's the colours, basically. So if I suddenly go and click on France and say wage war, so we're going to cast this spell. Oh, by the way, this this uh, the author of this mod did say this is for powerful computers, so... I did think this would be quite funny just to run on my PC just to see how it handles because it's going to get to a point where it's not going to be happy. So here we go. You can see France has already declared war on Switzerland, which is quite ironic because uh, Switzerland is normally the uh, neutral country in the world. France is also angry with Germany as well. That's not really a good position to be in. What about Switzerland? Yeah, Switzerland hates France. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what just happened then? Switzerland and France are actually now BFFs. France has just been conquered by Switzerland. Speed this up a touch, because that's the fun thing about this game. Once the uh, once it starts cranking up the speed, that's when it all starts going really wrong. I can kind of see what they meant about this is only for powerful PCs, because, yeah, that doesn't like that at all. That really doesn't like being sped up. Let's try two speed. The elves are a kingdom of one still. We need to get some food, and then, and then maybe they might expand a little bit. Okay, so we've got a bit of food there, so we're finally growing a little bit there. So somebody's doing really good. Look at Greenland. Greenland's really expanding. Norway's decimating and taking over the map over there. France is also expanding. I think France is doing pretty well, actually. France looks like it's uh, taking over the uh, southern portion of the uh, continent over there. Who else is expanding? These th these aren't my uh, miners. I had such I had such plans for you, just not even doing anything. Okay, so the, the, the dwarves are no more. The dwarves have actually just died. And that kingdom is now going to ruin. Okay, so who's doing who's doing the best at the moment? Let's, let's scroll right out. It's like a toss up between France and uh, Sweden. Looks like looks like there's ongoing battles going on at the moment. Oh yeah, France is Fr France has just took over Germany. Nope, just lost Germany. So these are all look. These are all battling. This is all contested territory at the moment. There is a massive battle going on at the moment. Which would be a good point to slow this down. Try and show you a bit more of the... Uh, let's pause this a second. Try and show you some more detailed units. So, for instance, this character here, this is Wuwo. He's not got a weapon, not got an inventory, and apparently he's got the trait of weak. I think this will be the leader. So, this is Omopi. Now, if you click on France, you'll see... You should be able, I should be able to see the leader in here. So the king is Omopi. So when you're scrolling around the area, if you see someone with robes on, then yeah, that's that's the leader. Still not got any uh, inventory as such though, but he is ordering everyone to decimate around here. Actually, he's not doing too good now because if you look over here, the Ukraine is uh, in control of Sweden, Germany, Lithuania, and they're closing in on France and Italy. So these are all pretty neutral. So what might be kind of fun to do is we are going to cast the spite on let's see where's the where's the home city we're going to cast spite on ukraine and just see what happens have they just declared war on estonia 
I think they have. Look, <laughs> there's a bit of yeah, there's a bit of a bit of a takeover going on. Okay, Estonia and Finland. You could be in trouble. Oh no no no, they're coming back. They are coming back. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end this video now because I think. I I think my PC is literally going to catch on fire if I try and do any more of this. Attracts the creatures that like to eat brains. Nothing can stop them. Spawn like the zombies. And are they going to go straight towards the Ukraine now? Oh, let's see. Oh, that should be more than enough zombies. Now let's see if these do go towards this brain. Okay, the zombies, they are eating. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. This has been Super World Box 0 0.5, 0 0.155 update. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.